As you see, as you see, as you see, I got a special, special series that I'm doing right now. It's called the Ghana Chronicles. So that means I'm going to be going to Ghana. What? Now, I did tell you all that during this, this, this process with me, you were going to be taking some trips with me and we were going to be doing some big things together. Well, it's about to start. Ghana is on the way. So, hey, can't wait. So before I really get into this thing, I wanted to, first of all, say like, share and subscribe just automatically because this is about to be a banger. This is about to be Liddy right here. So um, I'm going to Ghana for 36 days, 37 days. So I'm going to be meeting with a bunch of people. I got a lot of stuff going on out in Ghana. Uh, and potentially, Ghana is going to be, and this is just a big potentially, Ghana is going to be the place that uh, I may eventually relocate my family. I don't know that yet. Um, this is my first time going to Ghana, my first time visiting Ghana. I, I want to experience it, see the vibe, see the energy, talk to the people, feel the culture. I'm not going as a tourist. I'm going as somebody that that literally, genuinely, honestly wants to see if this can be my new home for me and my family. So so I'm so daggum fired up. And, and But I'm going with a mission, not just to see if this is going to be a place that I'm going to live. I'm going with a mission to see how I can collaborate with the local Ghanaians to see how we can all create some streams of wealth together. And I'm going to cover that when I actually get in Ghana because I'm about to break it down to you. But I just wanted to let you all know the Ghana Chronicles are coming, baby. I'm going to Ghana, baby. Man, you know, I want to first of all, and I'll make sure I tag his his uh, page in my comments. Um, I've been watching a YouTuber called Water Maya. Um, and he's been showing me Africa. Uh, he's got a campaign Africa to the world right now. And, and it really got me in my, in my heart, man. It really showed me that I don't really know anything about Africa. We're not taught anything about Africa here in the United States. Now, granted, I, I had African friends. I have African people that I grew up with. I knew about, uh, you know, they gave me little tidbits, but they never really broke down to me about Africa. Um, from Ghana, from Nigeria, uh, from Senegal, just just people that I knew from growing up being at being a New Yorker, growing up in New York City, it's a huge melting pot. So you got you got access to a lot of people. So, but now I get to to really experience Ghana and the continent on a personal level, not just on a third person, third parties kind of, you know, books and videos and all that stuff. So again, I want to thank uh, Walter Maya for inspiring me to want to come to the continent and in particular Ghana. Uh, I don't know if he'll ever see this video, but um, he's been, and he's a young, he's a young man. I'm 40, I'm 42. I'll be 43 in a few months. So he's a young man, but he's, he's definitely inspiring to watch. And, and the, the things that he's been able to do 
on this Africa to the World Tour. Man, it's something special. So I want to say what's up to him on that one. So Khalil Speaks LKE is going to Ghana, baby. I'm going to Ghana. Wow. It's amazing. My 40s, I never knew that I would be doing some amazing things like going to Africa, baby. Man, I'm so daggum fired up. I'm so doggone excited about going to Africa. Man, it's about to be something special. So I just wanted to to, to give you all that. I mean, you see, you see how excited I am. I, I created a whole intro to this video with the, the Ghanaian national anthem, the flag flowing in the wind. And, and this is the Chronicles. We're going to talk about the whole process. Today is the first day uh, that I, I'm, I'm going to be starting my malaria pills because you have to take malaria pills. I already got my vaccinations, my other major vaccinations, the yellow fever, the typhoid and all that stuff. But um, I start my malaria medications. So just in case that hits me, you know, don't take your boy out because I kind of want to stick around here a little bit longer. God willing. So, so I start that today. There's a process. You got to take that once a week, uh, two weeks before you roll out while you're there every week and then four weeks after you come back. So definitely make sure I do that. Um, so with that being said, I just kind of told you I'm two weeks out from going to Ghana. I'm two weeks from actually getting on that plane and heading to the motherland, to the continent of Africa, to Ghana. Come on, son. If y'all not fired up with me, then y'all need to get fired up because we about to we about to go to Ghana. I'm staying for a whole month. See, most people, I'm staying for beyond a month. I'm staying for like 36, 37 days. Most people, when they first go to Ghana, they don't they don't have an opportunity to stay a month. Most people stay a week or two and they come back. I'm going for a month. I'm going to experience life in Ghana. I have a whole I have a place that I'm staying for a whole month. I, I'm 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 gonna be shopping. I'm going to be cooking. I'm going to be living. I'm not going to be a tourist. I'm not hitting the tourist traps. I got meetings with business professionals and we about to make some things happen. I got some, some things cooking in this mind and in this brain. I'm telling you, it's about to go down in a major way. See, I didn't think I would be heading there in 2020. I thought I was going to be heading there in 2021, but things worked out where 2020 is the year to go to the motherland, baby. Man, I'm fired up. I don't know if you can feel my energy. If you can, I hope you can, because I am going to doggone Africa, baby. Woo! Man. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Man, I wanna I wanna I wanna visit some of the sites. Cape Coast Castle. I wanna hear about the stories of my ancestors and how we were we were we were stolen from our families, from our from our homeland. I want to I want to talk about, you know, my experiences of, of visiting that place, the last bath. I don't know if you all even know about the last bath. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about Accra and talk about life in Accra. I'm going to see how we can work together myself and the uh, and the Ghana the Ghanaians to see how we can we can collab and communicate. See, I'm not trying to go there being some kind of thinking some some savior not like that. Africans don't need saving. Africa needs their, their brothers and sisters to come back home so we can work together and make Africa the continent that no other continent can mess with. That's what I'm talking about. Man, Africa, baby. You're going to call me Khalil Speaks LKE, Mr. Africa. Man, again, thank you again, Walter Maya, for, for inspiring me, bro. I don't know if I'll ever get a chance to meet you in person, but just know that it was because of your inspiration that I, I set myself on this journey. I appreciate you. And for all the other African YouTubers throughout the continent, Nigeria, Tanzania, you know, Senegal, everywhere, I appreciate you for, for showing me that I need to come to my motherland. I need to come and see it, experience it. I need to I need to take the time and, and become one with my brothers and my sisters from across the Atlantic. And, and we need to we need to become unified across this globe. So I just wanted to hit you with this real quick. It's Khalil Speaks LKE. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment. Make sure you do whatever you want to do because your boy is going to Africa, baby. 
Ghana, I'm on my way. And one more thing I said in my last video, no matter what, I'm always going to end with this. Make sure, and this is to those who can do this, it's time to hold those officers accountable who murdered my sister, Brianna Taylor. Our sister, Brianna, has not gotten justice. We all need to make sure Brianna gets justice. Let's make sure we constantly keep talking about it. We got to make sure that we get justice for our sister, Brianna Taylor. Arrest those cowards. Put prosecute them and put them under the jail for murdering one of our sisters and anybody else who has murdered any of our brothers and sisters put them under the jail too this is khalil speaks lke i'm going to africa i'm going to ghana i'm fired up let's go have a blessed one people peace out